this tutorial I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Asus ROG Allies SSD. We are replacing the original 512 2230 that we have inside here with this Corsair MP600 Core XT. So this is a PCI uh, 4 M.2, it's a 2280 SSD, which is actually cheaper to buy one of these than to buy a 20, uh, two terabyte 2230 SSD. And we also need this, which is a right angled SSD adapter. So this goes onto the board and then we put our longer SSD here and it also has the screw at the back so we can clamp it down. First thing we need to do is open this up. Make sure you turn it off. Uh, we do need to remove the SD card in here. The only tools that you need is a small screwdriver and some plastic pry tools or picks. Uh, once I've installed this, I'm gonna show you how to um, go onto the Asus Cloud Recovery to reinstall all the um, BIOSes and the uh, Windows installation as well. So flip it over, and we're gonna remove these six screws at the back here. Don't worry too much if you can't get the middle screw, well, middle bottom screw off, just because uh, I think it's supposed to just kind of be loose like that rather than actually taken off. So we can just leave that. And now we just need to pry this open. I think the bottom is probably the best place to start, just because it seems like it's already loose at the bottom. You can hear the clips in between. That's where you want to just kind of pop it open. Try not to be too aggressive because you don't want to graze the plastic. All right, so once you've popped all the clips off, Manage to pry this open, just lift it up. So once you've got this open, make sure to remove the battery connector here. So that's, this is the battery that's connected to the board. So we just need to remove this, which actually just, you just need to like put it from one side to the other. Just be careful not to, I don't know, rip any of these cables off. Just give it a wiggle and that should just come off. Uh, lift this bit open. It's just like a conductive um, sheet. And we see the uh, 2230 SSD here. There's a screw here, so we just need to unscrew this. And now this should just wiggle out and lift up. So here's the old 512 SSD which just isn't enough for those AAA games. I don't know why they uh, did that for the base model and not just a terabyte. Okay, so I managed to screw this on. This just kind of goes on at the back here. Now it's just a case of just sliding this back into the M.2 slot. just fits and there's a little bounce to this but it is holding still once this is on this shouldn't really move anywhere plus we've got to put the back casing back on should probably put some double-sided sticky tape just so this isn't just wiggling about like this Once you're happy with that, then we can just put the back plate back on. Make sure everything is screwed on and all the clips are clipped. 
All right, so I've got this plugged in now. I'm just going to turn it on. And hopefully this should just load up onto BIOS mode. All right, so we're in BIOS mode right now. And it's just loaded up without any warning. Uh, this is the Z1 Extreme with the latest BIOS version. And just to make sure, you need to check if your secure boot is enabled. So press Y and use R1 to go on to security. All right at the bottom there should be an option saying secure boot. Click on that, make sure secure boot control is enabled. But because this is the latest version, this is already automatically enabled for me. And now all we need to do now is go on to Asus Cloud Recovery. So let me just do that again. So from the BIOS menu, press Y, go to Advance, Asus Cloud Recovery, press X. This will load up the recovery mode. We want to just review the policy. Um, I'm just gonna use the touch screen for this because it's a lot easier. So agree to that. Now we need to connect to our Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna quickly uh, select my Wi-Fi. Once you've connected, press OK. So it's ready to download um, the Windows 11 installation for your ROG Ally. Now it's saying you need to have at least 20% battery or plugged in and obviously have a, a stable Wi-Fi network. Enough storage space which we already have. Click next. So this might take a while to download all of the files needed. I'm not too sure how long this will take but it, this could take like at least an hour. Let's go in slow. Once uh, Cloud Recovery has downloaded the necessary files, click confirm. And now this is basically going to reinstall Windows 11 and whatever payloads updates that they have as well, which since initial launch this has been out for a while so this is going to have up-to-date uh, drivers and stuff and this might take a while just to reinstall everything. It's going to keep going to cloud recovery every now and then to install whatever files it needs to. So just leave it be until you see the Windows 11 welcome page. Let it just do its own thing. Like I said, this might take a while, so make sure you have it plugged in. And yeah, we're just gonna leave it here, let it install the files, and uh, we'll come back once it's done. All right, so this has just come up. It's telling me to back up my data, even though this is a fresh new uh, SSD. Um, I guess if you have any problems and you need to reinstall the whole unit from factory reset, then if you do have stuff on your 512 or however big your SSD is, you can actually back up all the data first using a external hard drive and then reinstall it. Um, so we don't need to do this, so I'm just gonna click now and Yes, just continue with the cloud recovery process. And I'm guessing it's downloading more stuff that it needs for the recovery. So we're just gonna leave it be and let it do its thing. All right, so I came across some issues while updating this and I kept coming across the um, software saying that there was an error and I wasn't able to reinstall Windows. Basically what I did is I realized my BIOS version there was another version because this was a few months old and I thought that was the latest version but there was another BIOS update so I took the S SSD out put the old one in booted it up and basically upgraded the BIOS to now the current BIOS and as you can see here it's actually showing the two terabyte SSD before it wasn't showing it I think because the BIOS was too old, but now it seems to be showing. So hopefully this time I can just reinstall the cloud recovery without any issues.
All right, it's finished installing everything it needed to. And as you can see, it kept restarting to install graphics drivers and armory crate and whatever it needed to do. And this is the stage where you need to be just on the Windows 11 home screen. And if you do have any troubles installing or trying to get the cloud recovery to work, make sure your BIOS time is correct. So you might have to manually change the time um, in order for it to run smoothly. As well as um, I had a problem with using my router's 5G. So what I had to do is use my mobile hotspot connected to my Wi-Fi router and connect the Asus ROG onto my mobile hotspot in order to download all the files. For some reason it's stopping updates to be able to download on your Ally. I don't know why that is, so if you have any network problems, check your BIOS settings and also connect via a mobile hotspot. So with all those troubleshootings, I managed to install the 2TB SSD. All I need to do is basically just set up Windows 11 and I'm good to go. So we finally finished setting up our Windows 11 account. Here we go, we have Armory Crate. I'm guessing I have to update Armory Crate unless it's already given me the latest updates. Why is that not working? Okay. So if I go on. Oops. That was not connected to my Wi Fi. But anyway, there you go. That is how you upgrade your SSD on your ROG Ally. Bit of a pain using the cloud setup. Much easier if you just cloned your original SSD and then just uploaded the clone drive onto your new SSD, but a few troubleshootings here and there, but we managed to get through it. If you do have any questions or if you have any problems trying to install your SSD, then please comment down below. And I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. If it has, then please give the channel a like and subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video.